Earlier today, we got a call about a 1970 CJ Jeep. So me and the old man are on our way to go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Hey, you guys. I'm assuming this is it? Yep, that's it. So you got the bar in there still? <laughs> I called the guys from the pawn shop to see if they'd be interested in buying my 1973 CJ5. I bought it online about six years ago. Idea was to restore it, but I think it's pretty obvious I'm never going to finish it, so it's time to sell it. Tell me everything you can about it. I always wanted a Jeep. I got it for a good price because it was in very bad shape. I threw the body away, so it's a fiberglass tub, hood, and fenders. Mm -hmm. um, I had it all the way off, of course, to the frame, and I rebuilt the engine and the transmission. I put new leaf springs on it all the way around, a new gas tank. How can we never finish it? Uh, lose interest in it. OK. Never seem to have any time. Yeah, welcome to the club. Jeeps are great. They're what everybody in the military drove back in the day. They were known to be as tough as nails. Did you start it up for me, man? Yeah. Fired right up, didn't it? I mean, the engine sounds great. There's no, you know, it's not rattling around in there. You put some work into it, I'll say that for a fact. This thing looks to be about halfway done to me, but it still needs a lot of work. I don't mind spending the money, but I don't want to get stuck into a money pit. What you trying to do, guy? I was just trying to sell it. How much are you looking to get out of it? $2,500. $2,500. I think it's worth that because the body is brand new and the motor has no time on it. Problem is, Corey, is it's a work in progress. We don't know what it's going to cost to finish it up. I got to say, man, my comfort level is around 1500 bucks. Yeah. Can I get uh, 2000 out of it? I wish I could, man. I mean, there's a lot of work here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's the, the parts alone are worth more than that. I'll do 1800 How about 19 1800 if you want it, man. That's the best I can do. Every time we buy a car, there's a risk. If one thing goes wrong, we could lose everything. So we have to protect ourselves by buying low. It's all about limiting any possibility of getting burned. All right, 1800 All right, my man, deal. I'm kind of sad that I've gotten rid of it because it is a fun little Jeep, and it would have been great had I finished it. And I'll miss it, but I'll get over it. What's up, gentlemen? What have we got, man? Well, I know you're not a Jeep guy. True. But you're going to have to be my Jeep guy this time. <laughs> all right, all right. I can do it. We can do Jeeps. I own Counts Customs right here in Las Vegas, where we build wicked, wicked choppers, crazy hot rods, and work on people's cool projects. What year is it? 73. 73. All right. The old Jeeps, man, they were just tough. Rugged, not a lot of amenities, not a lot of luxury, but they'll go anywhere and do anything. This one's nice. I mean, somebody obviously put a brand new body on it, and this is a really nice body. Usually, you know, a fiberglass body is kind of flimsy, but this one is really thick, yeah. so this is going to yeah. be a pleasure to work on. I'm thinking what we do with it is we do like a camo, but not a silly, cheesy camo. Maybe we throw some speakers back here. Corey, just fix it up basic. Paint it jet black. Indoor, outdoor carpet. See what? Not jet black, not camo, but let's do like an army green on it. Okay. You know yeah, no, that's. Is that cool? That'll, that'll work. Maybe we'll do a little army touches to them that have some yeah. have some cool guy flavor yeah. to them. All right. That would look nice, man. Yeah. How much did you pay for it? What are you into it? Eighteen hundred. Okay. There's there's a lot here, and uh, so we'll see what all's missing and we can figure out what it's going to take. Give me an idea of what we're talking. Well, Corey, you said it best at first that, you know, I'm, I'm not a Jeep guy. So, if, you know, fair warning, I just want to, you know, be honest and tell you that I'm going to need to spend a little bit of time with it and come up with a real parts list so I can give you a real answer. Is that cool? That sounds like a plan. Okay. So let's do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it. Absolutely. We'll make this happen. Take care, buddy. Absolutely, brother. We'll see you guys soon. All right, my man. I know the Jeep's definitely going to look awesome, but I can't guarantee that the price is going to be all that awesome for him just yet. Me and the old man were on our way to go check it out, but my dad and chum decided to tag along. I'm excited to see this. I just really hope Danny didn't go overboard on it. So he didn't spend too much goddamn money. Shut up, Rick. We'll spend what we have to spend.
This looks like it's right out of the movies. That's what we like to do for you, brother. I like it. I'm glad you dig it. Well, you remember when you guys brought it down, it was basically a body sitting on a chassis. What we wanted to do was kind of a fun toy, but it kind of gives a tribute to an Army Jeep flavor. It's got a sporty look to it. Absolutely. Custom made the bumpers front and rear, all the lighting on it. Custom made the, the windshield mounts. Built a whole new dash for it. Put a stereo in it. It's the first Jeep, so I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm happy we came out. Like every time I give you a few ideas, it's like you jump inside my head and do exactly what I was thinking. It's scary inside Corey's head sometimes, but oh, still, yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. I mean, I, I really like it, so how much it cost? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Count. He's just a tight ass at times. <laughs> no, I want to know how much it costs. I don't think I don't think it was all that much. Yeah, you know, I mean, you guys what picked it up for eighteen hundred? We started with right. Yeah. And I think we're like fifty five in it. I wouldn't worry too bad. So okay. you know, you, I definitely think you're going to make money on this. As usual, the count outdid himself. I mean, even though I'm seventy three hundred bucks in the hole, I should be able to sell this thing for fifteen k easy. Sounds like a pretty good profit margin to me. All right, Sean, let's drive this back to the shop. Ain't no way. Come back here. What are you talking about? You'll take a detour to the desert. I know you. It's got to be tested Maybe the old out man will take it back. We got to test it Rick, out. Do you agree with Yes, I agree. Let's go. Let's go, Pop. Come on. Me, me you guys want to drive, you can back. drive in the back. Okay. This is my project. Big Hoss gets screwed again.